So even though you may be cautious in the lab and you may be adhering to the rules of the lab, sometimes accidents do happen. So whenever accidents happen in the lab, whenever there's a spill, whenever somebody gets injured, it is very important to notify the instructor. That's the first thing that you do. Let the instructor know of any accidents that may occur. If, for example, you are working with a chemical and the chemical gets into your eyes, the first thing you want to do is to get assistance from either your instructor or a neighbor. Get immediately to this eye wash station and you may have to get your neighbor to press the pedal forward so that the water will come out of the eye wash station. And you need to make sure that your eyes, this is very important, that your eyes remain open so that your, the, 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 eye, the, the water that comes out can flush your eyes. And you want to do this for, for 15 minutes until an emergency personnel arrives. Also, if you're handling toxic chemicals and the chemical may get onto your skin or if it gets onto your whole body, the first thing you want to do is to get, take your clothes off immediately and then go under the safety shower right here and you're going to pull on this handle so that you can wash yourself off and you need to do that for 15 minutes until the emergency personnel arrives. If there's a fire in the lab, the fire in the extinguisher is right here, the instructor will be using it and the first thing you want to do is to let everybody know there's a fire so that they can exit the door. So when you're in the lab, you need to be aware of your surroundings. You need to pay attention to the exit. You need to pay attention to where the emergency phone is so that you know exactly how to act quickly in the case of the emer an emergency. So if you follow these guidelines and if you follow the rules to apply in case there is an accident, you may not only save yourself, but you may save others from extreme harm.